When mounting an open circuit demand regulator to a KMDSI scuba pod, size and shape do matter. There are four criteria that must be met. One, the regulator mounting tube must have a single lip. The minimum distance has to be 0.5 inches or 12.7 millimeters. Three, the KMDSI mouthpiece must fit snugly around the mounting tube without any visible gaps. And four, once mounted, the exhaust tee of the regulator must not affect the bellows of the scuba pod. With those four criteria met, we're ready to begin mounting our open circuit regulator to the scuba pod. First, the KMDSI mouthpiece must be used. Take it and insert it into the scuba pod. Make sure the edge of the mouthpiece is flush with the pod cover. Take a finger, insert it into the mouthpiece with the other hand. Insert the mounting tube into the mouthpiece and be sure to push the mounting tube in to the scuba pod as far as it'll go. Now you're ready to secure the regulator with a zip tie. Make sure the zip tie is rated for 50 pounds or 23 kilos. Put it around the edge of the pod cover. Terminate. And now you're ready for a pull test. First thing you wanna do is grab yourself a short piece of line and put two stationary loops on each end. Find the middle of the line and wrap that around the exhaust tee of the regulator. Have the stationary loops facing on the outside of the pod. Give yourself a little pull to make sure when the load is attached, it will point down straight and not off to the side. This is gonna be important when you attach the 25 pound or 11 kilo weight, or perhaps a full 50 cubic foot aluminum cylinder. Attach the stationary loops to the load. Lift the weight off of the ground for three to five seconds. And a successful load test will be achieved if there is no movement in the regulator and the cover pod.